Hey, we are here again, and today is a beautiful day in the world of Jay. Today, I know why you're here already. If you clicked on the thumbnail, if you clicked on the video, if you went ahead and you hit that link, I know why you're here. You know why I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> today, we're going to be checking out my favorite color of all time once again. We're going to be checking out a beautiful shoe, and then we're going to throw in a couple of things for you guys to think about. I am so excited. I hope you guys can't really hear it. I've been a little bit under the weather. My voice is just coming back, just feeling good. So feeling a little better. But we're gonna go ahead and with no further ado, let's go ahead and get into this shoe. So here you have it. You have the Nike Jordan 1 box. You already know what shoe is in this box. And you know, of course, I got my size nine and a half standard box. Let's see what we got. Uh, yes, it is true. Jada got another shoe. So yes, pulled in another pair. This is a very controversial pair right now for everybody that knows in the community. This pair right here is getting a lot of backlash for being ugly and not being dope. I am here to go ahead and give you guys the answer to whether these are dope or they're not. These are fire. Jesus Christ. <laughs> These are absolutely dope, man. In hand, does it the correct amount of justice? I told my old lady, I said, wait till you see him in person. We were at SneakerCon, looked at him in person, and it it's just beautiful, man. Just beautiful, man. And yes, you know, you can just wear it with all black. You can let the shoes be the accent of what you have on. And speaking of what you have on, shout out to my cousin T. AT, I love you, homie, man. She sent me this shirt through the mail, and you read what it says. I make shoe contact before I make eye contact. For every sneakerhead, for everybody in the world, we know we make shoe contact before we make eye contact. Y'all know it. Appreciate it, T. Let's get back into the shoe. All right, everybody knows they got this cream off whitish outsole that already looks like dirty or whatever. I know this was a big point that throwed everybody off. I did kind of wish that they would have put maybe some black around the sole and left the midsole in the color of uh, the, the off-white cream eggshell color. But this right here will do. And now, of course, we get to the part that everybody fucking hates. And we're talking about this glossy lip gloss all going across it right here. Now, it is like a patent leather, but it's soft. I hope you guys can see that. It's really soft, man. It's just like the Shadow Bad World. I think they were going for like a glass type thing. Like they wanted it to look like glass. And to me, they kind of pulled it off. Like I think these are going to shoot up in value. Y'all see the stock X numbers right now. I know they're not going for a lot of money right now. Mine are still dead stock. I'm about to rock them after at the end of this video. So stay tuned. But man, you got to see these in person before you make your judgment on them. Beautiful quality. Mine don't have a lot of flaws. Extra clean, like it's softer than I thought it was gonna be. I thought they were a little bit harder than this, but they're actually pretty soft. Like, if you can see that there, it's bending. All right, so what I wanna do right now is, I wanna get into the other shadow backboards that I own in my collection, so we can do kind of like a little mix and look at the different ones and compare them to this one. Let's go ahead and get into it. Yeah, so the first shoe I wanna compare with these, of course, is your shatter backboard lows. Right here is the first time I think they put pat, uh, patent leather on the shatter backboard, the swoosh, of course. Mine are kind of worn pretty good. I've been kind of rocking these. Of course, you know, orange is my favorite color. If you don't know that, I love orange, so you know these had to come to the collection. Let's get into the next pair. So here you have the next pair, which is the shatter backboard away. And I just un them for my birthday, birthday video, dropping very soon. Had to take a little time to edit it. Got drunk, got a little confused, so I lost a few images and moments that I wanted to capture, but that video is still on the way. 
But the ways, the quality on the ways is butter, man. Like that's one thing I just love that they do with the shattered backboards is they take care of them. These are extremely high in price now. I remember when they first dropped, they were going, you know, probably 350, something like that. But now they are really up there in price. Let's go ahead and get to the last one of the Shattered Backboards in my collection. So here you have it with all the glitter on it to let you know it's real. Of course, you guys know they get this glitter from when they sit. You can wipe it off, comes off very easily. The greatest Jordan 1 quality shoe that I have seen personally, the original Shattered Backboards, man. And you know the quality on these is immaculate, immaculate. And this completes the set. I don't have the women's, but I have all of the men's of the shattered backboards. I don't have those mids because I don't really consider those shattered backboards. But all of these, I do have them in my collection. So glad to be adding the 3.0. I got the one. I got the 2.0. Low. And of course, I got that 3.0, man. So yes, I just wanted to give you guys a bit of a comparison for those that don't know why we're so hyped up over the shoe and why people always are talking about this one and it's got so much hype slash controversy. Do not sleep on this shoe. Please, people, do not sleep on this shoe. It's going to go up in price, I'm telling you. But all of my YouTube people, I'm going to be quiet now. We're going to go ahead and get into what y'all came to see. Let's go ahead and throw them things on feet. And here we go. I had to wear my move. I'm on the rock star shit for you, bro. Spice on there. D Mark got the heat. Yeah. 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 I spent so thousand on kiss from Chanel. I got some bitches who willing to sell. Been had money before I can spell. Fuck the little Haitians you wanna expel. Free out my niggas behind the cell. No information, I talk in the 12. That bitch at my heart, but my money in bells. I am alone. Ay. But I got sauce to drip on your bitch. The flow be like water, the boss when I kick. Too many faces, my auto legit. Premium watch, and I cannot miss. I'm getting too hot, so big on the dish. The viper and grass, I cut it that sick. I'm moving too fast, the viper got kicked. Yo! But I got songs to dream in your zone I got a bond, the enemy song To say I know you is scheming for long I had a dog, the demons for more My heart breaking cause we on the ball You know the man, then why did you fall? I'm kinda puzzled you can't hear alone I'm kinda puzzled you can't hear alone I'm walking around with that crown, yeah I know these niggas ain't no So there you have it Hey, we sweating and all Hard work pays off Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe other than that, y'all, it's been your boy Just for Kiss for the X. Y'all be blessed, man. Say I'm ballin' in my kitchen. I do it.